Yo, what's up, Freeze Army, and welcome to Hitman FYI episode 8. For this particular episode, I'm going to be concentrating on, on, on explaining the benefits of uh, the breach extinguisher uh, technique, I'm calling it. It's because um, every single time I do a, an elusive target, I end up most on most occasions now, I've ended up using a fire extinguisher with a breach charge. And what that actually is, and what that actually does, is the breach charge will blow up the fire extinguisher or propane tank, in the book, because they both work exactly the same way. And uh, what that will, it, what they'll actually do is, um, because they got the target actually got killed by the uh, the fire extinguisher or propane tank, it counts as an accident kill. The reason why the breach charge is best for this is because it's got a very very small uh, lethal charge in it, and it's very it's, it's minimal risk. This is the reason why it's better to always use a breach charge rather than a rubber duck that we used to do. Now, uh, until until we discovered a new trick with the breach charge, we are, was always using a rubber duck. H however, there was an element of risk involved with using a rubber duck because of the uh, the blast radius. People really couldn't judge the distance between uh, you know, with a with a propane tank and a fire extinguisher. The blast radius is obviously a lot larger than a regular rubber duck, and um, on most occasions they would uh, put the breach uh, put the uh, the propane tank or the fire extinguisher too close to the target, and end up killing them with the uh, the explosion of the duck itself. Therefore, failing in killing the targets with an accident kill, and it was actually an explosion kill. Hence, everyone goes on full alert and ends up shooting you. That's how you know you've failed at trying to do the technique. Now, there is a, a very easy, very, very easy way of doing it with the breach charge. And I've been doing it in several elusive targets. Now, I, because I think it's so simple, I automatically assume that everyone can do it just as easy. But um, on, on various elusive targets now, I've done this technique. The people, some people have complained. A lot of people have found it very, very easy and simple to grasp. However, others find it complicated and don't really understand the reasons behind why it works. Now, um, what I end up tend to doing in elusive targets is dropping a breach charge straight out of my inventory with a propane tank or fire extinguisher in hand. And what that actually does is the uh, the uh, the propane tank or the fire extinguisher hit the ground first. And therefore, the uh, the targets or the person you're trying to get will always react to the item that drops on the ground first. Therefore, they don't discover the fact that you've dropped a weapon on the floor. And because it wasn't in your hand to begin with, that's why they're not suspicious of the fact that you've just dropped a weapon on the floor. Now, if you do drop a weapon on the floor with it in your hand, they instantly have crime noticed and you will be spotted and you'll get compromised. And that will ruin your score. And uh, I'm going to show you some examples right here. So in this first clip, we've got a, a, um, a propane tank already in hand. This is a custom contract. This is our target in front of us. Um, what we're going to do is just drop the uh, propane tank, me, go in the inventory, and uh, select our breach charge and drop it straight out of the menu and look as you, as you can see you get crime noticed now the reason why that actually happened is because um, she was reacting first of all to the uh, the propane tank being dropped on the floor and then because you dropped a breach charge and you already had the breach charge in hand as well she uh, she detected the weapon instead so this is why it's, it gets a little bit complicated and, and confusing for people because people don't really understand uh, what you need to do actually to get that to properly work is to um, drop the propane tank and the breach charge at exactly the same time. So that's the only way to counteract this uh, the crime notice thing. And also, you cannot have two breach charges in your inventory at the same time when trying this technique because if you drop a breach charge while you have another one in hand, this same technique will not work. You need to get rid of the first one in order for the second to work. So again, I'm going to show you an example. So right now we're back at the same spot and we've got a propane tank. So what we need to do is drop the propane tank first, get our breach charge out and just get rid of one of the breach charges because we only need one. That is really, really, really important to always get rid of the first breach charge when doing this technique otherwise if you have two in your inventory it will not work at all in any shape or form so what you need to do is go in your inventory with the propane tank in hand and then press the triangle button or the y button if you're on xbox 
and that will drop the breach charge and the propane tank at the same time. So keep practicing the technique, go in your inventory, collect, uh, select the drop item weapon when you highlight the breach charge with the propane tank in hand. So again, go in your, uh, your inventory, select the breach charge, and push the drop item button. Once you do that, you know, like I said, it will drop both items at the same time, and the enemy, the target, will always only react to the propane tank. And you'll be able to blow the uh, the breach charge up, in essence, the wet will end up blowing up the propane tank or the fire extinguisher, and you will get an accident kill because the breach charge will actually explode the fire extinguisher or propane tank. But like I said, if you have two breach charges in your inventory whilst doing this technique, you will get spotted and you will fail because uh, she will see the, that you've got a breach charge in your hand because once you've dropped the item out of the, the inventory menu, which I'm going to show you right now, Remember, going into your inventory, selecting remote breach charge and clicking drop item. Now she reacts to the fact that you've got a, a, pro, a propane tank on the floor and we've blown it up because we have the uh, the remote in our hand instead of having another breach charge in our hand at the same time. And she cannot detect the fact that we've got a uh, remote uh, in our hand rather than a breach charge. And uh, obviously it says body found, but because it's an accident kill, it counts uh, doesn't count against your score. So hopefully you've understood that a little bit more clearly now. So uh, just to summarise this now to end the, to conclude all this stuff and uh, remember all these things, you need to make sure that you only have one breach charge in your inventory when trying this technique on a target. Always go in your inventory with the with a propane tank or fire extinguisher in hand. And select, uh, just select uh, the breach charge and click the drop item button. And that will drop the breach charge and the propane tank or fire extinguisher at the same time. And then you have plenty of time to uh, push the trigger and blow up the target with the propane tank. Now, if you get, if you experience uh, very, very, very rare ch uh, occasions when you'll get an explosion kill rather than an accident kill. Uh, that will mean that the breach charge killed the target rather than the actual propane tank. But when in regards to elusive targets, as long as uh, you're not even in the way and you're far away from the target anyway, when you blow the, uh, up the uh, the thing, it won't matter anyway. Sonic Assassin does not matter uh, elusive targets at the moment. It may be subject to change, um, but as far as as far as it is right now, Sonic Assassin doesn't really matter towards when getting your suits. But uh, this is a very, very easy and very, very effective and overpowered technique of always getting these accident kills and getting your very easy Sonic Assassin ratings, whether it be on missions, uh, elusive targets, escalations, uh, whatever. It doesn't matter. But on most occasions, I will always be using this technique for elusive targets because simply it's very, very, very simple. And in future, when I use this technique on the digital targets, I'll explain it again and again to make sure that you guys do not fail this and make sure you guys nail this uh, uh, this technique time and time again. It's very easy to do. Uh, it doesn't matter how close you are to the target, but I do recommend you taking about one step away, maybe about a foot away from the, um, the target itself, just to avoid uh, the breach charge killing the target rather than the, the fire extinguisher or propane tank. But uh, that's that's all I've got to say, really. I just, re just remember to always have only one breach charge in your inventory. Get rid of one of them. So when you start the level, just get rid of one of your breach charges. It doesn't matter where you drop it. Just get rid of it, uh, making sure no one can see you drop it, that is. And, uh, and do that technique. Make sure you have the propane tank or fire extinguisher in hand. Hit go in your inventory, highlight uh, the breach charge, and select drop item from the menu. That is all you have to do. Uh, with regards to the elusive target, the last elusive target, number 13, um, that was a very, very easy and effective uh, way to kill the target. Now, I've revisited the elusive target, number 13, many, many times now with different accounts and uh, tried out several different techniques. But however, this elusive target is so limited in regards to different uh, approaches to the elusive target that this technique is pretty much the only way to actually nail this elusive target effectively and fast. So um, 
there there is solutions to like if you want to do fiber wire only you can but it's very 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 long and frustrating and very risky in doing whatever you're trying to do when trying to get these two targets from the fiber wire there's no other potential accident kills you can use there's no other potential ways to poison your targets it's a very very limited uh, elusive target and this technique of the breach charge in the fire extinguisher is so effective and that uh, hopefully this video holder video uh, and all the examples have explained why and now everyone has a clearer understanding of this technique and why it's effective and then the reasoning behind it all so that's all I've got to say so hopefully you've enjoyed the video and it's helped you out and you've learned more now and uh, so yeah please drop a like on the video if it did help you out and you've learned more about it just let me know in your let me know your thoughts in the comments of what you think about this technique and uh, how it's a, how, how it's helped you in the past and uh, how you're going to use it for a future elusive target so, yeah and uh, drop a like on the video subscribe here if you are new to the channel and new to the completely uh, new to the series and if you are new to the channel uh, say hello so yeah thank you very much for watching see you in the next video guys cheers also, if you are new to the series, I forgot to say, if you are new to this FYI series, make sure you click the link in the description or I'll drop a card down on the video so you can see the full playlist of Hitman FYI videos, including all ranges of tips and tricks for this game. So yeah, once again, thank you very much guys. Cheers.